ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for this special moment. IBA decided to go further, to push the limit. And with the same machine, with the Cyclone Cube, now we can reach 300 microm. This is the brand new IBA Cyclotron and we are very proud to present it today. It's much smaller, it's the only 18 MeV Cyclotron with a self-shielding available and it's the most powerful Cyclotron with a production capacity of up to 30 Curie of F18 in two hours and it's a beam current of 300 microns. It's really the most powerful Cyclotron on the market with internal sources. I'm very impressed. The, uh, the ability to go up to 300 microamps will significantly improve the amount of 18F that can be produced and help in delivering a routine FDG service, which is something I'm very interested in. And then in addition to the ability to load four different IFPs on the single Synthera platform will again improve efficiencies in the production of FDG, but also novel radio tracers, which a research centre like Cardiff would find it very useful and, and very interesting. Oh yeah, so 300 microamps, it's a, it's a big difference from existing cyclotrons today. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, I've been being in the business for a very long time, uh, the more activity you have, the more flexibility you have. And the IBA has uh, done some things uh, that make their cyclotron very reliable. Uh, so that amount of activity would change what, how you would look at the number of cyclotrons you have and also your distribution distance. A new Cyclotron Cube is really a very interesting machine and uh, I think it will be a really uh, nice uh, equipment for, for example, for Russian market as well. Your new Cyclotron, uh, first of all, it's, uh, I think I can say it's a green technology because it's safe energy and uh, it's very productive. I'm now proud to announce the second major breakthroughs, the Sintera Plus. Let's unveil the Sintera Plus. What is unique with the Sintera Plus is the loader. On one Sintera, I have up to four IFP cassettes, and you have automatic loading ejection, so you can make four runs of various radio tracers without opening the hot cell. Well, I think it's amazing. It's a very good idea to have uh, one Sintera which is capable of charging multiple IFPs um, automatically so that you operators don't have to interfere uh, during the pro production or during the day. Another good thing is also that you kept out the electronic parts which uh, makes the Sintera more reliable. I think IBA is listening to the customers uh, concerns. We are a center that does multiple productions per day so definitely we will use the system with a multiple loader, yes it really makes a difference in terms of uh, those to the operators.